restoring island habitat uh, that's continued to be lost in the Chesapeake Bay. We get a tour of Barron Island in Dorchester County to see these large stones laid. They will help protect against future erosion. And they'll protect the 83 acres of wetlands that will be created. The project managers take us out from Fishing Creek, Maryland, to where cranes are doing the heavy lifting to rebuild the island. Rocks are creating a perimeter around the land that is left. This island is eroding very dramatically, and so we're down to about 130 acres, 138 some acres left, roughly. So um, this, the intent of this is to cease that erosion and, and stabilize the island. The first phase of construction started earlier this year. Barron and nearby James Island are part of the Mid-Chesapeake Bay Island Ecosystem Restoration Project. You know, with climate change and human activity, wetlands are getting decimated uh, all across the Chesapeake Bay area, um, and we need to place our dredge material somewhere. So it's a, it's a big priority of the Army Corps of Engineers. They say the sediment dredged from navigation channels will create more wildlife habitat and restore the ecosystem. The design of the structure itself does a good job of um, gobbling up wave energy, if you will. Uh, so the wave energy will go into the voids of the stone. It will get gobbled up. It'll absorb the wave energy. We head into what's known as the sill, what supports the large rock structure. The rocks on the top layer each weigh about 4,300 pounds. Right now, we're positioned inside of the sill. So we're in between the sill that was just constructed and the existing island. So this area in between will be future wetlands. It comes with a big price tag, 65% of the funding from the Army Corps of Engineers and 35% from the Maryland Port Administration. Between now and 2067, the project's anticipated to cost about $4.5 billion. So why spend so much money to build up these islands where no one lives? Planners say the entire project would provide more than 30 years of capacity for dredged material, which will be critical when Poplar Island, which is also being restored in the bay, reaches capacity. It'll be great habitat for birds, reptiles, um, some fish. The dredged material is expected to be brought in next October, and that's when construction on James Island is supposed to begin. As a rule, it's going to be a, a good level of protection, and it's going to do exactly, I think, what, what the Corps designed it to do. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.